check in with Court, see what he's up to in the Storm Tracker Center, walking you through your Tuesday, Court. That's right, and Kelly, as we're getting ready to take on this Tuesday, we have the windy and dry conditions driving elevated fire danger across our region. Temperatures warming up today, and the peak of the heat is going to be tomorrow. Tomorrow, toasty. Today, around average. So we're warming up. Tomorrow does look to be the least comfortable day as far as the heat, and then we'll cool down late this week and even have a chance for some wet and unsettled weather late this week into early this weekend. As you're getting ready to head out the door on this Tuesday morning, we have temperatures resting in the 50s to 60s in the valley, 40s to 50s in the foothills, and 30s to 40s in our mountain zones early on today. Winds sustained out of the north have stayed fairly breezy along I-5. You can see here the downslope winds 17 miles an hour in Red Bluff, 13 miles an hour for Redding. Wind sheltered areas of Butte County have five to seven mile an hour winds out of the north right now. Gusts today, especially early to midday, up to the 30 mile an hour range out of the north. Those winds do become less substantial towards the afternoon, but during this time frame, we're also really drying out. And that's why fire danger is staying elevated into this evening. The winds are still out of the north tomorrow morning, but then as a wet system starts to approach the Pacific Northwest, we see a shift to west winds and they'll get a little gusty tomorrow evening. Specifically, Tehama County is in a little bit of elevated fire danger tomorrow evening before it's mostly south winds and that onshore flow as we head through your late week forecast and that cooler wet system parks straight off the coast. So those winds aren't all that strong or problematic because we have these south winds that kicks in the delta breeze and it doesn't really allow for things to dry out as much as what we're seeing with this north wind event for us today. Satellite and radar clear skies overhead right now. Grab your sunglasses. You're going to need them. We have high pressure building in off the coast. This is what's driving our clearing skies and our warmer temperatures. But today we still also have influence from that low pressure system that brought the very active weather to our region Sunday. That's to our northeast and it's leaving us with these breezy to gusty north winds. Now as we move forward, those winds diminish as low pressure exits to the north and east. High pressure builds in for the middle of this week, leading to the peak of the heat tomorrow, but then that even exits further to the east and it opens up the door for more of this cooling influence from this wet system that's going to park off the coast late week. And then Friday into Saturday, that actually moves inland and it also brings the chance for some wet and unsettled conditions late Friday into Saturday. Thunderstorms not out of the question, and that system is then going to push off to the east Sunday, leaving us with warming temperatures for Father's Day as high pressure builds in, and then we'll heat up more heading into next week. So when and where could we see showers? Well, Friday, mostly just closer to the coast. Saturday, the latest models showing a couple hundreds of an inch of rain in the valley. Areas close to the coast and Oregon border seeing up to a half an inch of rainfall possible. Temperatures today, 70s to 80s in the northern mountains, mostly 70s in the Sierra and Southern Cascades, foothills in the 70s to lower 80s for your afternoon, and it's upper 80s to lower 90s for most valley areas today with sunny skies, warmer temperatures and those breezy north winds. The winds strongest early today, but still breezy enough to be a concern for fire danger for your afternoon. Your Storm Tracker 7 day forecast for your weekends always in view. Heating up Wednesday, the peak of the heat, upper 90s this week on Wednesday. will drop into the upper 80s to lower 90s on Thursday and then dip further into the upper 70s to lower 80s Friday and Saturday in the valley. That chance for showers Friday night and through Saturday, but then we dry out and warm back into the mid 80s with sunshine for Father's Day. Kelly warming even further into the mid to upper 90s Monday into Tuesday of next week.